malicious actors, you know, try, try to do bad things with data. And as we, we continue on a digital transformation journey and we... My name is Mike Modsley. I'm the Senior Director of Digital Solutions for the American Red Cross in our innovation team. Um, okay. You know, I think the responsible use of AI is going to be an interesting thing for us. I think how we as a Red Cross, Red Crescent Society can, can use it and then also how our world chooses to use it for good or for bad. I think there's, there's wonderful implications um, and I think there's some risks and I'll be interested to see how that, how that plays out. And then I think also, you know, we, we continue to have issues around data privacy and data security um, as malicious, malicious actors, you know, try, try to do bad things with data. And as we, we continue on a digital transformation journey and we we, we, we collect more data into systems, we're gonna really have to stay ahead of them in terms of safeguarding that to ensure that we're maintaining the public trust. So I'd really like to see us um, figure out how to better collaborate between national societies. I think there's a lot of wonderful work being done, but it's being done you know, in country and and not often known. So it's been really eye-opening for me here this week to learn about the digital journey of so many of the different societies. And we're all solving some of the same problems. And I bet if we work together, um, we, could, we could at least ideate on solutions that, that could impact more national societies and particularly developing societies. It would be, um, it would be great to see national societies that have more resources um, be able to help those who have less and, and really ensure that we're, we're contributing overall to the movement um, while we're also still solving those same problems that we have at home. I think we will adapt or we'll be left behind, right? It's not, it's not a choice of if, it's a choice of how. And, and how do we do it responsibly? And how do we do it in a way that really benefits the movement? Um, our team has had a lot of success with, uh, with machine learning, with data science, and I think AI becomes somewhat an extension of that. Um, and I think it can do amazing things, particularly when we're responding to more people in need and we don't always have adequate resources. We don't always have adequate staffing. Um, I'm, I'm interested to see how we can use AI um, to fill in some of those gaps to ensure clients are getting timely service, but maybe without there having to be that volunteer there um, every time, particularly when we're short staffed or we're running multiple relief operations at the same time. So, and I'm certainly not an expert in AI, but I, I do know that um, ensuring we educate people about what's happening to the data they're sharing, right? So just sharing data blindly is a bad idea, right? And it compromises our data. And so ensuring that we set up safe places to innovate and to practice and to play and to see what we can accomplish. So American Red Cross, we've been doing that around GPT setting up a safe place for people to experiment with it so that we can generate use cases and get some ideas of, of new things we could do with it. And I think, I think really, I think giving people enough information to get them thinking about how to use it and then let them run wild with it and see what great ideas they come back with. Let's pick some small use cases and, and let's get some early wins and then we can kind of see where this goes. Um, you know, both both within national societies, but then also for the movement. Yeah, I, I, I think, uh, you know, I've attended some sessions this week and, uh, around um, strategic foresight. And I think 
I think this idea of planning into the future and anticipating all the things that might happen and, and planning for them makes a lot of sense. And ensuring that we're proactive and we're prepared well in advance of these large scale events, I think will ensure our success in the future. Being reactive is important. There's people to serve, but being proactive allows us to serve them more, more efficiently, sooner, and then manage whether it's cross-border migration, which creates all sorts of challenges for the movement and, and on every continent it seems that's been an issue. And um, I, think, I think really imagining what the future could look like and then planning against some of those, um, taking the time to, to step out of our day-to-day -day work of responding and reacting and giving some attention and some energy and some resources to the future. So yeah, so not only a vision, but also ensuring that we're rolling up our sleeves and we're doing the hard work to plan for those things and to be purposeful about it so that when that or something similar happens, we already know how to respond. It, we've, we've trained ourselves, it's in our muscle memory. Thank you very much. Thank you.